Well, good morning. I'm currently fishing at Linear Fisheries. I'm on Bray's Nose 1, and I've just managed to snare myself my first two fish. It's been a bit of a journey trying to get here. At the start of the week, I started fishing off at Farlow's. It really wasn't fishing well, and the boys from Fatfish Tackle gave me a call and said we're heading up to Linear's. So I loaded up the car, had a look through the Instagram pages, saw that it was doing well, headed up here. Got a swim, wasn't my choice of swim, didn't really want to sort of sit in there, it was on the on the front of the wind and it was cold, really, really cold. Decided a move was in order, so I moved over to this, onto the back of the wind, it was a little bit warmer and straight away, within 20 minutes of casting out, I've managed to land myself my first two fish. So let's get them out and let's have a look. There you go, first fish of the group. First to join the club. First fish in the 20s over the winter. When he had small doubles, low doubles, this one, 24 pound. Absolute corker. So just putting that fish back, ready to get the second one out. Had a shout from two pegs down, and Kenny's into a into another angry carp. Uh, fourth one of the uh, session. Hopefully the uh, the third one on the bank. So uh, here at Linear Fisheries, in a couple of hours, a couple of days. You've got me, Mark from Fat Fish, and George from uh, Boily Belly TV. <laughs> and uh, hopefully this one was on uh, two bits of pop-up maize. Fished over a bit of uh, hemp boilies, maples, and uh, in she goes. Alright, let's get this one weighed up and uh, we'll get the wood back out. There we go, just a smidge over 18 pound. Second fish this morning, only out on singles, just on that little raw marine. So for uh, late February, third move of the week. We're now into a brace of fish. Well, we've had more than that now, we've had five takes. Landed four. This is the smallest of the lot, just, just pulled this one in. Uh, run out of weigh sling, so uh, we'll just come straight in with the net to the pictures straight away. I'm not going to weigh him. It's probably a, it's just a small double really. So we're going to get the others out and then we've got something pretty special in the net to show you as well. There we go, 33 pound mirror cut at Linear Fisheries on Bray's Nose 1. About to move now three times. Final fish has wiped out all three of my rods, but I don't care. It's time to get a cup of tea on, I think. Get the rods back out. Try and get myself another fish. Brilliant. My uh, fourth bite, third fish landed. Uh, bit of a been in the tension sling for a little while, so it's a bit lively while we've had all those uh, fish to deal with, including George's 33. And uh, this one goes 23-2. Uh,
finally having a sit down for a minute. My swim is in absolute chaos. I've got stuff absolutely everywhere. So uh, it's been a busy morning from moving, trying to get my stuff sorted. It's really muddy around here. And then all them fish in quick succession, followed by the others as well having their fish. It's been a, it's been a really busy morning. I haven't even got time to get my camera gear properly set up. So um, we're going to spend the next sort of hour now, I think, sorting my gear out, getting the rods back out. But first, I need to make sure I get myself myself a cup of tea, otherwise I'm just going to make myself ill. But wow, what an incredible start to the day. So it's just quieting down a little bit now. Uh, it's coming into sort of early evening and I just wanted to quickly show you the, the bait that I've been spotting out over the top. And it essentially comes from when I fished back at Gigantica when I saw Jake uh, Taylor catch fudges. And a lot of inspiration came from that. So I thought I'd give a new bait a go. And I went over to Baitworks and I've started been using a combination of 50-50 Royal Marines and the Monster Red. And I've literally just been Putting them, putting them together with a lot of crumbed up boilie as well in, in the crusher and a little bit of sweet corn in there as well. Just to top it off, putting a big generous helping of liquid fishing and I've been using plenty and plenty of bait and that came on the advice of Jake. And I can't say it's how much my fishing has changed in the last six months. My catch rate has gone up so much and I just have total confidence in the stuff now. So I think I've found myself now addicted to the stuff and I'm gonna to continue to use it within my fishing. Just gonna put a couple more spawns out, just to see if we can uh, reignite a bit of action out there. I've had a couple, but uh, just really trying to top it up, really, just with a few little spawns, and we will see what happens. It's a really cold morning here at Linus. Last night dropped below sub-zero temperatures. I'm waking up to ice all around the rods and ice across the bivvy. Not because of that, but because of my plans. I'm now gonna pack up, early pack up, and then I'm gonna take the about two and a half hour drive down towards Canterbury, and this afternoon I'm gonna be fishing on Chillum Mill for the next four nights. So part two of this sort of episode is gonna be down at Chillum, and I'll see you there. We're all packed up, leaving Linnaeus now, but wow, what a session. Two nights, four fish landed to 33 and a half pound. My first 30 out of Linear Fisheries. Absolutely over the moon with that. Mark caught, Kenny caught as well. Really cold, sub-zero temperatures. 
winter session and the three of us managing to land some fish. Right, well, Linear's now behind us. I've got 140 miles to go to Canterbury. Next, I'll be seeing you at Chillum Mill. So we're almost at Chillum Mill. Um, just been listening to the weather forecast on the way and sort of having a, having a look when I stopped off. And we've got this beast from the east coming in, as, uh, as the radio keeps telling me. So the temperature is going to be dropping down to about minus eight. Um, I think I need to stop off at a tackle shop on the way through, and I think I'm going to have to stop myself up with some maggots. Uh, it's going to be tough fishing. It's always tough fishing in winter, but my tactics are going to have to change from. Uh, while I was fishing back at Linear's. I think I'm gonna end up assessing the situation when I get there, but to start with, I think I'm gonna start off on the maggots. and have a good look round for the fish. If I can't find them, then I might just start chucking out a few singles, moving swims, putting out another single until I find the fish. Hopefully, we can get on them. on the way through to Chillum, got myself a hot shower, something to eat, change of clothes, uh, thought I'd have a look at the weather forecast as well in a little bit more detail. And what the forecast is saying is that they're predicting strong easterly winds coming in from Siberia and they're calling this the beast from the east with temperatures dropping down to about minus eight at night. So that being said, I thought I'd better up my gear. So I've now put my Titan brolly in, two-man brolly with, with another bed chair as well because Anna's going to join us on nights. Some light stalking gear as well so I can move around and my barrow etc. So if I can up and move a lot, a lot easier. So I'm now in the van. Just stopped off for a, a bacon butty on the way and a, and a hot cup of tea. No doubt we're going to see some horrific weather over the next couple of days and it's going to be tough fishing. But at least I'm fishing. I'm not sat at home with my feet up. All right, we'll see you at Chillum. Can we dance together one time? Would you like to be my friend? How is this gonna end? I think I'm falling back again. With you is where I wanna be. It's true. I wanna have you close to me. All right, so we've arrived at the mill. Um, there's only one other person on. Um, I know him from, from fishing at Gigantico. I had a good chat with, with Ian and um, not a lot has been coming out. So things sound promising. Also caught up with the guys in the tackle shop when I bought my maggots as well and also said that it's fishing really hard. So not only have I got horrendous weather coming in, the lake is not fishing well anyway. Uh, things are really stacked against us. Um, oh well, that being said, it's currently sunny. It's not warm, but at least it's sunny and we're fishing. So I found a nice bit of gravel out there. Um, I think it's a Swanee bar. Well, I know it's a Swanee bar. Um, I'm just measuring the depth of it because I don't, I don't want to be right on top of it. I don't want to be right on top of the bar. I want to be sort of just this side of it where the water's a little bit deeper, where the gravel milk meets the silt. So I'm just pulling it back, pulling the lead back, uh, waiting for that da -da 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 vibrations to stop, and then I'm measuring the depth. And I'm looking between about five and six feet any more is a bonus but this lake is not deep and the best thing I'm gonna get is about six foot three four so that's four foot that's no good Hi 
Hi guys, so I just wanted to quickly show you the rigs that I've been using, what I used at Linear's and how I'm uh, changing it for the conditions here at Chillum. So last week, or last couple of days rather, I've been using my good old faithful multi-rig and I've just been fishing that just with a hybrid leg clip system, size 4 choddy, uh, micro barbed hook and my orange raw marine pop-up on there. The difference being here at Chillum, it's a barbless rule so what I've done is and due to the conditions as well getting very cold this week I've gone over to exact well I'm using exactly the same setup although this time I'm using a barbless hook and I've also tied on about five maggots on top using the bait floss hopefully that should be enough to get myself a bite So far I've got a good helping of Monster Red and Raw Marines, about 50-50 of the two. And I'm also going to crush a load up as well to get them in. So I'm going to crush plenty of that up just to get a good crumb over, give it a good crumb over the top. Whole tin of sweet corn including the juices. That's going to go in. There we go, nice bit of sweet corn. And I've got four pints here, she's going to do me the whole session. I don't want to overload it with maggots. I'm just going to put a good handful in as well. Maybe two. There we go. Once they're all in, finally, just to finish it off, a good dollop of liquid fish. Give that a good mix together. And you have got yourself a fantastic ground bait that absolutely hums, that absolutely stinks, but what a bait. So I'm now fishing, I've got all three rods out, it's taken me a while to get there but essentially what I've found is a couple of little deeper spots. One which is on a bit of gravel in the gully between me, so between the like wind turbine, the oxygenator and the island and that's at about 21 wraps and the other ones are, are 17 and a half wraps and that's out towards sort of pegs 10, 11, 12, there's a slightly deeper spot there I found as well. I put all that spot mix out, I wanna, I'm playing the longer game here, I'm here for three nights and four days and I've put the rigs, the ones that I showed you earlier, over the top. It's been a couple of hours now since I got the rods out and I've had a cup of coffee and whilst I've been sat there I've just been sort of watching and just observing. The wind has really been pushing down the middle of the lake today and off to my left there's this little island where it's been really calm and really still where it's been so sheltered. The sun's been beaming on it all day and it's a little bit warmer in the sun so it just looked really inviting. I've taken one of my rods and I've just put it off to the left hand side. It felt a little bit deeper than around the front of it, around the front of the island it's about three or four feet, three or four feet. Just off to the left it's about five foot, so it's just a little bit deeper. I've gone round and sprinkled a handful of baits over the top and I've repositioned that rod right under the snags just to my left hand side. I'm fishing the rod locked up, so I'm fishing with no slack in the line and I've also got my clutch done up nice and tight. Hopefully that'll do us a bite. going down now and it is freezing in the sun it wasn't too bad but as soon as that sun sort of just dropped below the horizon it has got really really cold um, I'm not going to recast my rods but what I am going to do is when that sun's gone completely down and the birds wildlife has disappeared I'm just going to put another handful of bait over each spot with a throwing stick I think it's going to be time to get some dinner on shortly and then time for bed it's been a long day it's been a long week so far We've had some nice fish, but I have a feeling the following few days are going to be tough.
just in the time it's taken me to have some breakfast and have a cup of tea, the sun's now sort of poked its head out and it, the temperature not necessarily got up but feels a lot warmer in, in the sun and it's so bright. I think what I'm going to try and do is reel in my rods and then I'm going to go and find a little spot on the lake, a bit of a sun trap, a bit of deeper water where the carp could be holding out. So I've just been for that walk around the lake. It started snowing really hard and I didn't see any promising signs of any fish. The only thing I did sort of find out was at the top end of the lake, it's a real sun trap underneath a few willow trees. It's dead calm where it's on the back of the wind. So I've pre-baited up a couple of spots on the hope that some carp might find it and I'll try and stalk them tomorrow or the day after. So I've just got back, made myself a cup of coffee with that fantastic little Navitas coffee pot which was sold to me the day before yesterday by Jason in the tackle shop. I've got the rods back out on the spot, I've put them all three of them now on the spot in the middle at about 17 to 18 wraps which is in a little gully pre-baited yesterday. Uh, three high-vis pop-ups, all different colours and I've just clipped them down, just whittled them down a little bit to make them look a bit like dumbbells so they're not just screaming pop-up. They've all gone back out, it's now snowing hard again, I'm going to retreat back to my bivvy and try and get warm. Well, good morning. What a stunning morning it is, but unfortunately the lake has got a lid on it. It's completely frozen over, which kind of puts a stop to the fishing, really. I can't get a lead out and I can't reel anything in. Um, so unfortunately, we're going to call it a day there. I'm going to pack away the gear, get the rods in the van and get home for a hot cup of tea. Thanks for watching this episode. It's been a fantastic kind of free venues, Farlows, Linears, and here at Chillum. Unfortunately, we blanked at Farlows and Chillum. That is winter fishing. Look at the positives. Four incredible looking fish, that 33 and a half pounder from Linears at Brazenose One. Guys, please check us out on Instagram and Facebook page. It really means a lot to us, and we'll be seeing you again soon.